Quick question for y'all. Why do we care what men really want? Okay, so today's video is probably gonna trigger some people and I swear to you that is not the point of this. It's just that this topic, this thing keeps popping up in my world lately and I just feel like I need to vent and talk about it and hear your opinions and start like a dialogue about what's really going on here. And obviously, I can totally see where some of the stuff that I'm gonna say is gonna make you wanna say stuff back. And please do, please, comment below, let me know what you think. Just please be respectful in your comments so that we can actually have a real conversation about this topic. So if you're like me watching a video like this, you're already thinking, Colt, why are you thinking about this right now? Different guy, glasses. It's a great question, other Colt. The thing is, I was doing some SEO stuff for some of our dating videos and in the sidebar where all of the like similar videos or videos you also might be interested in, it kept showing me things like how to crack the man brain, what men really want, and the worst one, the secret ways to win a man. Like it was all about how to get inside the heads of men, specifically men. At first, I didn't really think anything of it. I just kind of like rolled my eyes and moved on. Like real natural rolling of the eyes. But every time I put up a video about dating, this stuff keeps coming up. And so now I'm confused and a little bit worried that anybody who's looking for a video about dating and dating advice is gonna fall into the trap of one of these videos whose entire purpose is essentially how to make man happy. Man happy. <laughs> so I watched some of these videos and wow, like, Wow, and you gotta give it to these guys. They have one thing that they are not running short on at all. <laughs> Huge egos. Let's just say self-confidence to be kind. And that's why I wanna talk about it because if you're looking for advice on dating and some of the most popular advice on dating out there is a man, and yes, they're all men, a man telling you that Men, because they're men, and only because they're men, only want certain things, or that they think differently, or that man brain special. <laughs> Here's a secret. It's not. Is it true that there are certain biological or physiological differences between men and women? Sure, I don't know, I'm not a scientist. I am. No, you're not. Blesses. Okay. And sure, there are a ton of guys in the world who have hangups about sharing their emotions or about being good communicators. But I'll counter that argument with this one. There's a ton that don't have those hangups. So, touche. And also, also, it's not just men who have emotional hangups and have trouble sharing emotions or are stoic. There's a ton of people from all walks of life who have those exact same hangups. That's a thing that happens to people who have been through certain experiences. That's just a defense mechanism. There's always going to be people who don't wanna share or have a hard time sharing. But it's not just because it's men. That's such a weird, old, archaic way of thinking. But by continuing to make it a man versus woman issue, it's just exacerbating these old school ways of thinking that's not doing any of us any good, especially not as far as relationships go. So to all those macho men, oh yeah, or whatever this very special locker room, brutus, man cave loving guy is, to all of y'all, I have a question. Please explain to me why you feel the need to be both this macho man that is holding so tight to these old traditions and also need to be heard. It just seems counterintuitive to me that if you're this like men are from Mars, women are from Venus kind of guy, women do this, men do this, those men don't really need to talk about it. I mean, isn't that the same thing that you're talking about? That they don't communicate, that they don't do these things? It sort of seems like if you're that type of dude, you don't need the world to know about it. Now, Away from all that, back to the real reason this is so important to me. This channel is devoted to one major thing and that is helping you find the love you deserve. And if there's one thing I know for sure, Oprah! <laughs> oh God. If there's one thing I know for sure, it's that the love you deserve is not someone who thinks that their needs, because they're a man, need to be nurtured by you. 
You deserve someone who's looking to grow together. You deserve someone whose goals aren't to be babied for the rest of their lives. You deserve someone who wants to look at themselves as an individual rather than as a part of this group so that as an individual, they can become better with you. That's what love is. It's separating yourself from these other reasons that made you a certain way and taking responsibility for those things. Man, woman, whatever. It doesn't matter. And labels like man and woman don't come into play there. That's just humans. And before the comments come at me about the snowflake status that I'm clearly earning as a professional male dancer who's making a love video, let's just go back in my past. I just want to point out a couple of things. I was born and raised in Georgia. Spent most of my time in Atlanta because both of my parents were police officers with the Atlanta PD. My dad is one of, if not the toughest man I've ever known, and I know a lot of us probably feel like that. But specifically, my dad left home at 15, was a Marine, then he was SWAT with APD, then he worked his way up the ranks to become a sergeant. He worked for the FBI on undercover drug task forces. This man has been through shit I hope to never see in my life. He's like what might qualify as a man's man. That old gem. And he would probably call this how to break the man code talk Bullshit. In fact, he does. Hey, Pop. How you doing? Hey, hey, bud. How you doing? I'm doing real well. Well, son, what I heard is some bullshit. You don't have preconceived notions about who you are and that somebody's got to fit into your pattern. My mom was one of the first female police officers on the Atlanta Police Department. She is tough as nails and she proved it year after year, working vice, working with DEA, out at the airport doing drug busts. I mean, she's proved it a million times over, especially every day when she put on that uniform in an era where women were not cops. And she also thinks it's bullshit. Here she is saying it. Hey, hey mom, what are you doing? I was just out walking. What are you doing? Nice. Uh... Son, that's some bullshit. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. The thing is, neither one of them raised me to think of men and women differently. They taught me to love to the best of my ability and to always be trying to learn how to do that better. So that's why I'm on a soapbox. That is why I don't think it's useful to care what men want. Because the thing you deserve is to care what you want. Because what you want is a part of love. The man code. I mean, come on.